guys, Jimmy Mikkel here of Social Vignerons. Welcome back to another wine video. This is episode number eight of Julian's three and a half minute wine school, this series where I am going to be sharing everything that I know about wine. So today we are going to be looking at a whole important aspect of wine, the color. And also we are going to be having a look at what it tells you about the expected style of a wine. This is going to help you understand, analyze your wine a little bit better and it's going to help you before you taste the wine understand what style of wine you're going to be having. But let's move on to rosé and red wine. So those two types of wines get the color from the skins of the grapes and a, a particular a molecular or scientific chemical compounds that are called anthocyanins. anthocyanins. They are antioxidants, same family as the tannins, and they actually participate together with the tannins, so they're just slightly different families of molecules, but relatively similar. You can actually find out um, that uh, the inside of a red grape is actually completely white. Uh, only the skin is dark and has some red pigments. Anthocyanins are the same molecules that give the color to the, you know, this purple cabbage, uh, quite a lot of fruit, all the red purple fruits and vegetables, um, the beetroot as well get the color from very, very similar uh, compounds. So perfectly natural, obviously an antioxidant participates in the antioxidant character. Some say healthy character to wine. I'll stay out of this for now. But anthocyanins give them their color to uh, rosé and red wines. The difference here is in the winemaking because rosés are not fermented with the skins in the tank or in the barrel. Uh, the rosé wine gets just a tiny bit of color that is extracted from the skins with a little bit of skin contact during the winemaking process. The winemakers can choose the amount of color that they infuse into the rosé wine. This is why you are going to be finding some paler dry rosé wines and I made a video about Provence go and have a look at this here or more purple deeper rosés with a more, more intense color this is only because the skins of the grapes have been soaked for longer during the winemaking process apart from this little soaking with the grapes rosé wines are made in the similar fashion as white wines without the skins which is different from Red wines which are fermented, the whole tank is filled with the whole berries, so the skins and the juice, and the wine is pumped over the skins to extract the color and extract the tannins, the tannins being those components that you feel in your mouth that give the astringency to a wine. And I went relatively briefly on the style of rosé because the color is not going to tell you whether the rosé is dry or sweet and not quite exactly the style. Pale rosés tend to be dry and a bit more subtle, less fragrant in red berry characters than pale ones, but it's not necessarily always true. That's why I went a little bit quick on this. For red wines, well, again, it's going to tell you the color, the intensity, the color of the red wine is going to tell you a whole lot about uh, your wine, the red wine that you are going to be tasting. If it's light in color, like some of the Pinot Noirs or the Gamays in France, it is <coughs> likely to be an indication that your wine is going to be a bit lighter in body, definitely lighter in tannins and often with a little bit more acidity and more of an upfront fruitiness to them as well. If it's a dark, rich, intense, layered, deep, like a black hole of a wine like this particular wine is, this is going to be an indication that there is a lot of tannin, so expect the wine to dry your mouth quite a lot. It's going to be also an indication that the grapes were really ripe, that it's going to be a grape variety that is rich in tannins, often high in alcohol as well, so get ready for this type of wine. For red wine, the color is going to give you an indication to a certain point of the age of the wine as well. Every red wine is going to start 
on the purple side of the spectrum and evolve so this is around the red spectrum but it's going to start on the red purple side of the spectrum so this bright vibrant red like a blueberry purple red uh, and it's going to evolve over time as it ages in your cellar in your, the bottle towards a more orange side of the spectrum eventually from orange is going to start going towards the brownish yellow brown red sort of the spectrum if a wine is really getting brown uh orange orangey brown it means this is a wine that has aged quite a lot it's not a linear uh, evolution of your wine so you can't really match the age exactly with the color it's going to depend on the grape variety the style of wine the the aging conditions in the temperature in your cellars and all sorts of things as well which i'm not going to get into right today again i'll make a more deeper video but this is essentially what you need to know about the colors of your wine this is also i find and i'm going to be concluding on this i think looking at a wine is also most certainly part of the enjoyment i often say that this is a little bit like looking at a flower you just enjoy looking at a flower because it looks good because the colors are nice and i think it's the same with wine just looking at a wine just take you know 10 seconds to just look at your wine and enjoy this beautiful color that has been given most most of it has been given by the grapes it's been picked somewhere in some faraway country or in a region that is often sunny and nice and exotic take a look and take a little time to think about this wine and uh, enjoy the color of course we all enjoy the taste of wine and that's going to be the most exciting part of tasting wine but spending a little bit of time looking at your wine and enjoying the beautiful diversity of colors that wines have is part of the pleasure of enjoying your wine and enjoying it a little bit better in a bit of a more sophisticated let's say civilized manner at the end of the day i'm like you i just like to dig into my wine and enjoy the taste but you know that was my thought for the day if you have any questions let me know in the comments i'll be more than happy to answer them if you have questions about wine and topics that you'd like to me to cover in this series I'm more happy to listen to you and I will probably make a special video just for you if the suggestions are good I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon very soon in the wonderful world of wine cheers Santé.